Hey, it's Dr. Teresa Green with Align Chiropractic and I am going to show you how to use your portable muscle stem unit that you received. Now, I am not a representative of this company nor am I paid by this company. This is just for my patients to use as I have prescribed for their particular condition. So when you receive the unit, <clears throat> when you unzip the bag, you're going to find the actual device here itself and the electrode leads will come with these long wires. And there's also a book that is very helpful and handy, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then you have your electrode pads. So when you set the device up, you're going to need to put batteries inside. And when you turn it on, the power button is in the center here. It will give you different selections on the display, which we'll go over in a minute. First, I want you to take the electrode leads, and if you'll notice, there is a gray one with red connectors and then there's a black lead with black connectors and that's what you're going to um, use to reference the photos that will show you how to hook the pads up for the particular pattern. So you will then need to open your electrode pads that come with it. I'll go ahead and do that so you can see how it's done. When <clears throat> I suggest you hook the pads up first, then place them on your body just because if you're doing it by yourself, it's hard to see behind. So you're going to take two of the electrodes and put two on the red leads and you just simply push the wires in and make sure they are strongly connected there on both. And then you'll do the same thing for the black leads. And <clears throat> once you have that set up, this video is going to um, talk to you about how to use the NMES setting, which I have prescribed for you. So I'm going to come a little closer so you can see the display here. So when you turn on this, ooh, let's go over here. When you turn on the display, it's going to look something like this. So if you come over here, there's this button here, the NMES button. If I push it, it's going to change the time here. So you see the change is right up in here that's happening. So I usually recommend that you do the 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. This one is going to be 30 seconds uh, off, 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 10 seconds on. So this is the setting I commonly recommend. And I'm sorry, the words are backward on the display. And then you're the NMES setting. Um, if you wanted, if I recommended IFC or TENS to you, you would need to use these buttons to change to those settings. But we're going over this one today. Once you get the lead set up, these are the buttons you're going to use to increase the intensity and you'll see the change in intensity will be here. So these numbers will start to go up once you actually increase. I'll show you just so you can see, but it's probably gonna turn off here in a second. So as I push it up, each lead will then increase. But for now, we want those at zero. You don't want any current running through when you're trying to set the pads up. The next thing you're going to want to see is just a little reminder here in your um, booklet. I am on page 31, and again, I apologize if this is backward, but if you can read backwards, it's going to see NMES uh, modality. It's showing you here how to set the pads up here. So this would be for an upper back placement. Notice though, there are two red leads and two black leads. That's telling you how you set the pads up. This is for IFC setting where they're actually crossing those across the spine or the area. For NMES, you want the pads to be, I'm gonna say it's parallel to the spine where we're doing this. So this is page 31, and that shows you how to set it up for upper back. Um, in the rest of the book, it doesn't clearly show you the NMES, so you're going to follow the pad placements for the TENS modality. And again, notice the pads are parallel to the spine itself. So the red leads would be on one side of your body, the black leads would be on the other side. And this would be the setting that you would use for NMES on the cervical or your neck area. Now, another question I often get about this unit is now that we have it set up and it's ready to be used, how do you put the pads on? And so again, the red leads are on one side, the black are on the other side. They're going to go back onto my neck this way here. And so I have long hair, you need to move the hair. When you take the pads off, I recommend you do not pull by the wire because that will shorten the lifespan of your lead, but rather pull from the sticky pad part and you're simply going to take the pad and place it on one side of your body here. And again, I don't need to look, but you don't want to cross over the spine. It should be on the side of the spine. 
With the next setting, you also don't want to come too far forward because you do have an artery through here that you really don't want to put the electrode over. I'm going to take the second pad here and then I can go as uh, into my lower part of my neck here. Again, feeling where my spine is and making sure I don't have the pads placed awkwardly. So I'll turn so you can see it. And that's how they're set on one side. And then I simply am going to move my hair over and now I'll show you so you can see how I'm setting the black leads up. Again, I am pulling from the side and I'm not watching what I'm doing, but rather I'm just going to pull my hair to the side here place this one as equally as I can. They should be pretty level if I can get them that way. And then I'm going to put the lower one on. Okay, down here. Oop, as you can see, it's sometimes hard. So if you get your hair stuck in it, just pull it out. And so that's the placement for a cervical NMES. Now, I do want you to lie down while you have this setting on in the neck because it's going to contract your muscles and relax. And if you're trying to move around and do activities, it's gonna be a little challenging. So once you're lying down, you're going to just go ahead and remember we talked about these settings here. You're gonna move them up until it's a comfortable discomfort. So like a three or four out of 10 on the pain scale. It's gonna contract and then relax. If there's a problem while you're using these, turn off the unit entirely here. Do not just tur decrease the current, turn it off. Make sure it's off because you try to pull these pads off while there's current, it doesn't feel good on your fingers or your neck. Trust me, I've tried it. So when you do need to take them off, again, you're gonna hit the power button and turn the display completely off is my recommendation. And then the same thing here, you're gonna try to not pull the wire, but rather find the pad and just simply remove it. Um, and just be careful with your hair. And then once you go to place it back on here, you notice that on this uh, little clear plastic, which is hard to see right now, it says either on or no. Make it so that when you look at it, it says on. That's the side you want to put the pads on. If you look down at that and it says no, flip, the pad, flip it over. It just helps save some of the adhesive on the, um, the pads. And then you just put them back on. And if you're the only person using it, you could leave it set up like this. But if somebody else is using it, then you could take off the pads and get a second set of pads for somebody else to use. And that's pretty much it for the NMES setting and how to use the unit. The only other tip I have for you is if you are somebody who uses a lot of lotions or um, things on your skin, take alcohol, just rubbing alcohol and dry off or wipe off your skin first let it air dry, then put the pads on. The lotions will decrease the adhesiveness of these pads pretty quickly. So try to save your pads for as long as you can. And that's the NMES setting. Hope that helps.